This is the vision for the future of energy at the heart of climate talks in Glasgow. A supercharged green revolution powering past fossil fuels towards net zero. But rather than sun-powered uplands, the near future is probably going to look a lot more like this. Revved up economies emerging from lockdowns have unleashed massive demand for energy just as supplies are falling short. Demand for electricity is increasing everywhere. We have seen gas price surge across the world. Energy intensive industries have been forced to stop or reduce their activities due to the high energy cost. So for now, fossil fuels are making an unwanted comeback to close the gap. And that's creating an expensive hot mess for policymakers and the planet. The energy crisis that we're seeing, the increase in natural gas, coal, is prompting many consumers to switch to the use of oil for power generation. Winter is coming and for many, electricity bills are larger than they have been for a decade. We are witnessing an unsustainable economic recovery. Fossil fuels are growing very strongly, prices are high. This year, we are seeing the second largest increase in the global emissions in the history. The global crunch has shown just how much the world still relies on fossil fuels for a stable flow of energy, and how unprepared we are to keep them in the ground. So why is it taking so long to make the switch? Over the past decade, the cost of clean alternatives like wind and solar has plummeted, and investment in clean energy has made massive leaps. In 2020, renewables made up the lion's share of new power generating capacity worldwide. And in the first half of this year, investors pumped in more money than ever. That's good news and big progress. But even as the winds of change blow through the energy sector, at the system level, it still feels like a light breeze when we need gale force. Oil, gas and coal remain king, and polluters are still getting lots of public money. Even with historic investments in clean energy, the world's two biggest consumers of coal keep adding more to the energy mix. Countries have directed over $300 billion in new funds towards fossil fuel activities since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, more than they have towards clean energy. Meanwhile, some of the world's oil giants in advanced economies face a wave of lawsuits. They're being accused of greenwashing, suppressing climate science for decades, and continually lobbying against clean energy policy. Climate activists have long called for energy finance to flow down a different stream. But today, even shareholders are issuing stunning rebukes to company executives. And their message is clear. The energy transition is happening, so curb emissions and clean up your investments. The key question with fossil fuels is that at the moment we are trying to address a lot of the problem via supply. Telling banks to stop financing fossil fuel uh, projects, telling shareholders sell the shares of companies that they pollute the planet. But we have not yet addressed the demand side, and that is the difficult one. If we continue flying around on planes that they are powered by jet fuel, driving around mostly on cars powered by gasoline, if the trucks, the deliveries, and all the e-commerce boom is still supported by diesel, it means that we are going to need fossil fuels. Green revolution is starting, it's going to take a long time. There's a lot of investment that is needed and it's not completely ready to take fully over the fossil fuels. To supercharge the energy transition, the International Energy Agency says we need to be spending about $4 trillion every single year. And that should fund a historic transformation in a relatively short space of time. It includes new infrastructure, new distribution systems, and much better storage to electrify the globe. Uh, I want to be very clear. We are not facing an energy price surge because of our climate policy or because renewable energy is expensive. We are facing it because the fossil fuel prices are spiking. We do not yet have enough green, affordable energy for everyone. We need to speed up the green transition, not slow it down. Thank you.